Scorpios, welcome. It's your heart spread for the first half of October. First to the 15th, we'll call it. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is to read who's uh, on your mind, uh, who's in your heart. Uh, we also now have the single spread, always on Thursdays, by the way. Libra Scorpio Day for the heart spread are also the singles. And basically, the difference is that's for when you have no one on your mind. Uh, totally single, completely single. But here, this will faithfully pick up the one you're thinking of. Um, you don't necessarily even have to be with them. They don't necessarily even have to be alive. It's, if they're the one that uh, you're thinking of, when you watch this, then that's who Spirit's going to pick up on. I like to think so, yes. So, let's see what we got here for you guys. Um, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Appreciate it. Check out the Soul Family Read, would you? It's uh, up on my channel. It's a daily collective read. Whoever resonates, then Terrence McKenna, you know the bard, uh, find the others. So, let's see if you're a part of that. I kind of read myself into that. It's a little more about uh, metaphysical, spiritual, uh, manifestation reading, uh, more than the romantic reading here. Let's see. This is where you're at now. Scorpio with the Sag energy. A lot of Scorps got Sag energy. I'm a Sagittarius with Scorp Venus. It's strong in me. Um, so temperance, it's just like it says. Um, this is a fantastic energy to come into a relationship with. And that's what I'm reading. It's kind of the energy you come into this relationship with. Whether that was 10 years ago or whether it was recently or is even, this could even be a future read. The next card it could even be the person coming. I've always said this could still be a singles read, but I still want to have a dedicated singles read. It's very different. Um, but and you're facing here into the reading. Um, so I love this energy as a Sag. It's balanced because there's nothing wrong. You're cool. This is Sag. It's like a high functioning Sag when everything's clicking. It's like we don't, stuff doesn't bug us. We're not uptight, you know, because everything's cool. And it's kind of like that. We're like, what's the problem? But what is there to be uptight about? Everything's cool. And that's a fantastic energy to have anytime. But wow, fantastic energy to come in a relationship with. It's kind of like being wide open and in a good way. I think. And wow, what a match. So we got some major karma stuff going on here. We can go ahead and start the twin flame uh, flags flying. I'm not I'm not sure on the twin flames myself, but uh, I want to see it in astrology. I've yet to see it. So the star is meeting your temperance. You know, they could very well be an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus here, prominent energy for them. And they are manifesting. And I could see this as being, you're being pulled in by their manifestation because this is Sagittarius energy. It's mutable fire. I'm a Sag. We can be like happy puppies and exactly the kind of energy that would be pulled in by this kind of manifestation energy. Uh, but in either case, both of you are very high functioning. Um, probably something going on with you. It's going to be in your natal chart. You know, these um, significant planets connecting to the angles, typically. Um, moon on Pluto. Moon, you know, on the IC. Uh, so many things with the nodes and connections to personal planets. and um, Positive it's going to be there. Because this is kind of just the energy you're at to start with. But, you know, I could just see when you guys meet, it's like, kapow. Yeah, I'm liking it. Seven of Cups. Wow. This is an interesting energy to go from Temperance to Seven of Cups, because that's what I'm reading. Now, this is you, Scorpio, responding to your potentially Aquarius energy person here uh, in your uh, thoughts uh, here, whoever you're thinking of, whoever's in your heart. Um... And it's like, uh, it's like opening up a lot of possibilities. I see it a little bit as like, this can be like really peaceful energy, being very cool, going along. And this is not bad, but it's not as peaceful. It's kind of like, whoa, I got to really think like something's going on in my stomach. And this is pretty significant. And I don't really know what this is, you know. Um, it's just, they're stirring up things in you emotionally. Um, and it may be around, you know, it is Mercury retrograde. Uh, maybe they're weirdly stirring up things about uh, past uh, people. You know, no, I know it's not the Six of Cups here, 
but you know it's that energy of can be emotional turmoil uh, emotional you know uh, wonder wonderment uh, sort of not something emotionally sort of nagging at you not being able to quite get your uh, arms around it and you know a person like this very powerful it could stir up something like that even more that sounds like a twin flame definitely can sound like a soulmate because you know you might be emotionally picking up on a lot more than's actually there like telling yourself well i don't know i just met this person but why do i want to tell them everything and think they're my person i'm not usually like that i'm temperate you know um and they're just kind of laughing going you're like that because i manifested your ass and seven of cups is sort of like it's kind of blowing your mind blowing your heart more than your mind because you got some feels into it majorly this person ain't playing guys jesus so your person here is scorpio <laughs> aries energy now this is how they're feeling about you and um holy moly they are claiming you it's like when you watch a tarot reading it's really good and you go i claim it that's like what they're doing yeah, I do. I feel it's like some possessiveness. This is really strong. I'll be honest with you. It's turning me on. <laughs> I my Venus is Scorpio. I don't know how it works. You know, I I don't mind a, a woman. I can handle you know anybody. You know, I've, I've got boundaries and stuff. I don't mind somebody coming in hard and wanting to take the reins. You know, that's like fun. Um, and this is no kidding around here with the star. Um, but man, they're just all kind of there for you too. Uh, with the Empress, you know, it's got to be like uh, what's maybe baffling you here emotionally is uh, really what this could be now is like, is this too good to be true? This is like, I just, I can't believe I'm actually, this is actually happening here. Yeah, that's what that would be like. It pinched me. I might, I must be dreaming. Uh, kind of energy and that does kind of throw you out of your role because you you're just going along and that now you're like whoa you know i have just been blown away by this person um and i think here scorpio you'd have to admit comment nobody's paying attention trust me <laughs> but honestly give me a comment they must intimidate you a little bit or you gotta have them on a pedestal or you gotta be thinking like holy shit look at this like woman this man i can't believe like they, you know, they want me or i can't believe i got them it's just got a little bit of that kind of possessiveness energy too here to it um like they want you in their empire scorpio <laughs> it's as simple as that you know maybe that maybe you're going to be their emperor huh so this is your advice from spirit I got to say, this is like a go, go, go advice from spirit. This is the advice for you towards your person. And, you know, those eight of wands are going right at your person over here, right at the empress. And I, I see you, this is the advice from spirit. It's okay to do it. Um, you're going from the seven of cups down to the eight of wands. It's like, okay, I'm past the astonishment phase and I'm coming at you, baby, because I want me some empress. Yeah. And it's like spirits, like that's it. That's what that's what you should do. Go for it, Scorpios. Ten of Wands. Look at that. Now this is the advice from spirit for your person. Wow. Wow. I. I this is a weird, but I feel like coming underneath the Empress. Um, it's like telling your person if you're cross watching help me out here and tell me this doesn't ring a bell it's like let everything go all of these things you were worried about, all these things that you had to do boom 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 these little nagging things you have to do you're this is the star and the empress drop everything and receive the outpouring that's going to come from your scorpio that's what's going to happen here it's like you're stunned for like a minute, like deer in the headlights. That's uh, There's a Seven of Cups uh, uh, interpretation right there, deer in the headlights energy. And then you get over it and you're like, I'm, all, I'm coming. You know, you shake that off and you just go like an arrow. Got the Sag uh, coming there. <laughs> uh, now, uh, this is advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. Um, with the Eight of Wands coming, this coming between you with your Eight of Wands, and then with your with their ten of wands and those ten of wands coming right at you and now they're both coming right at this five of wands 
So there will be, uh, remember they're practicing here, so this isn't a real fight isn't anywhere near as bad as a five of sword just had in the last reading um, that really is always trouble to me um, but here this is really pounding stuff out i believe a lot of activity going on uh, i would see you scorpio maybe moving towards them there's all kinds of logistics there's things your person's going to have to literally drop to attend to this like you know they may have to turn down a job assignment or something and make room in their life and you guys are going to have to kind of negotiate it this is negotiating i don't really see this as a bad thing here though it's negotiating i mean look here now uh the empress is going to negotiate with you so how is that a bad thing because the empress don't have to negotiate right and it's got the star coming in this person has a lot of power and i think this is kind of them being really open with you um could be something some of them dumping their stuff on you they're like, okay, if we're going to come together, then you're going to have to help me with this. And here you go, is what the, I'm dealing with this, you know, um, the empress here in the relationship. <clears throat> Let's see what the outcome is. The moon card. I want to clarify this. You end up with a very emotional relationship here. I think this there speaks to some period of time. Like this five of wands energy is over the moon. Um, so this negotiation is kind of ongoing. There's going to be work going back and forth. There may be various things that have to be done. Uh, in the nuts and bolts type of things too could be with wands. Actions have to be taken. Uh, more than one thing. I mean, you might say like five significant things. Someone has to move. Someone has to sell. Someone has to negotiate a new position or office or something uh, in that kind of thing uh, to bring this all together. And when you have the outcome, you have this very emotional uh, relationship together. It seems kind of raw too. It's like it, for you guys to come together, it takes like this effort um, and it kind of leaves both of you, uh, maybe the Ten of Wands too is indicating it, kind of exhausted. Um, as if, you know, it's not really a bad thing. It's just a, a little bit back to the deer in, in the headlights analogy uh, with the outcome being the moon. It's kind of maybe both of you are kind of fi finally together and feeling like, oh my God, we're together after having a very difficult time getting into that position and just kind of wanting to just be there and be emotionally available to each other and like literally like just take a week off and like make love and hang around the house or preferably like a, a cool hotel room up in the Poconos um, and then you have the two of pentacles so this you guys getting it together you know this it comes together it's a little nebulous it needs to gel I think you guys go through some kind of turmoil to do this together but you do it together you do the turmoil together and maybe not all easy you know you have to really negotiate like you're going to a little bit of fights like god damn it if i'm going to give up so and so then you're going to have to give up something what about this and you know like that going back and forth but it's called a real relationship and then the two of pentacles is you guys bring it right right steady that's the two of pentacles it's balanced not about choice it's like just being balanced and it takes work and effort um so it's like this is not like a real easy relationship which once again going to go to the you know twin flame deal uh, because they're never going to be easy. If they're real, it is not. That's not your soulmate, uh, love, and everything's wonderful uh, energy. Which is really life partner energy. Um, this could be something tough. But uh, two of pentacles to me is individually, really taking your willpower and making things work, keeping things balanced. This might have been this is whole so hard to put this together. You know, uh, you both have complicated jobs. You both have lives. And to bring that all together and make all the pieces fit is no easy feat, you know. But when you do, you really do it well. And you end up, you know, your schedules are set. And, you know, you have this time together and time for yourselves and time for other people and everything like that. And that's the kind of relationship you have. It's also probably a very emotionally close uh, relationship as well, Scorps. So um, let me know what you think of that. I really appreciate it. Like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. Please do subscribe. Thank you, guys.